Hi everybody, this is uh, Dr. Michael Vasky here at the uh, Walmart Vision Center in Park, Colorado. And what I wanted to talk to you about is one of the questions that gets uh, asked to me pretty much every day is, why do I have to have my eyes dilated? Uh, people complain about it, uh, get upset because it makes it so difficult to drive, so difficult to read. Um, well, the main thing is why we dilate the eyes is to look inside the eyes and to make sure that the eyes are healthy on the inside. So if we can only look through the small pupil, it's like looking through the, um, the keyhole in a door. So you can see some of the room, but not all the room. And there can be some things uh, on the sides of the room that we're just not able to see by looking through the keyhole. So what we'll do is put uh, some drops in that's going to work on the muscles on the iris. And then that'll open the iris up and it opens up the pupil and now we have just opened up the door to the room. Now we can look inside the eyes and what we're uh, looking for is uh, looking for cataracts um, so we can get a good view of the lens of the eye. We're looking at the, all the way to the back of the eye, it's called the retina, and that's uh, where the optic nerve is and the optic disc. So we can look for any neurological conditions like MS, glaucoma, and then after that, we will look at the uh, blood vessels that come uh, out of the optic disc or optic nerve. And the blood vessels can show us if there's any high blood pressure problems, uh, diabetes, arteriosclerosis, uh, heart disease, uh, stuff like that. So we'll uh, take a really close look at that and make sure that's being monitored closely. Then we'll look at the uh, center of the eye. It's called your macula. That's where your 20-20 vision is and your color vision is around that area. Make sure that there's no degeneration of that, no spots. And then from there, um, then we got to look at the peripheral part. It's way back on the outside part of the eye. And that's where some thinning can occur. And if we can detect any um, major thinning, which can lead to retinal detachment, which we don't want that retinal detachment because that can lead to blindness. And so we'll uh, take a really close look at the outer parts of the eyes and the inside of the eyes, and that's why we dilate the eyes. Uh, another reason that we put drops in the eyes that kind of incorporates a, a dilation is called a cycloplegic uh, exam. And with this uh, cycloplegic exam, it controls the way the eyes are focusing, kind of like freezes it. Um, when your eyes are working like a camera, we don't want it to be auto-focusing in and out in different images. And that's uh, what we'll kind of do with uh, children is make sure we have incorporated the best uh, prescription uh, for them. So we'll cycloplege the uh, eyes and that'll control how they're focusing and get the, the full gamut of the prescription. So those are two major reasons that uh, we will dilate the eyes. Um, and usually it does take a little bit of time for them to recover. And since the eyes are dilated, and then it does make you a little light sensitive. But some of the newer drops that we use today, it's not as um, uh, vision distorting as it used to be. And so we'll uh, definitely have to have that available uh, for you. And we'll give you some sunglasses to help you with the bright sunlight and then you know, it'll recover within two to four hours. So I hope that helps on uh, why we dilate the eyes. And so if you have any more questions, give us a call at the phone number below or check us on the web at the website shown below and we'll um, talk to you on the other side. Thank you.